Michael Gio with the throw. Always a familiar figure, his stockings always around his ankles, never wears shin pads, Gordillo. Martin Vasquez, the number 10, couldn't find him with the return ball. De Luis got it clear. Siganda on a good piece of play by Siganda. But uh, just ran into the covering player for Real. Sanchez. Levin is Schuster, the West German. Sanchez again. Tried to set Hugo Sanchez free on the edge of the penalty area, but overplayed it. Roberto, who is one of the smallest goalkeepers in Spanish football, his uh, official height is about five foot seven. Ruggieri, the Argentine international, underneath Roberto's kick. We can expect to see Osasuna sit back and hope that they can contain Hugo Sanchez and the rest. Osasuna's away record not very impressive this season, only one away win. Although, oddly enough, that came in this city at Atletico Madrid. They won 1-0 and Siganda was the man who scored. Schuster. Forward from Sanchez. Chasing player, number three, Castaneda, the captain, and rather needlessly giving away a corner. But not easy under the mass ranks of Real's huge support to keep a calm head. First corner of the game then, in the third minute. Oh, not a bad one, it just eluded Ruggieri. And Osasuna quite happy to get that one clear. Nine is Hugo Sanchez. Three, Gordillo. And the challenge by Pepan. Petrogueño. Good play, Martin Vasquez. And again, Martin Vasquez. And that's another corner of Pepin. So two corners in the opening three minutes for Real, setting the tone for what I'm sure will be a real onslaught by the home team. Good clearance by Martin Gonzalez. Schuster lays it back in, though. And a good-looking ball for Michel. Danger here. Oh, it's gone in. It's an own goal. What a mistake by Martin Dominguez. The Real players run to congratulate Michel, who crossed the ball. And in the fourth minute, Real are in front. Michel's cross, and really, what was Martin Dominguez thinking of? He had every opportunity to head that well wide of his goal for a corner. And that's an embarrassing moment for the Osasuna player, the former Barcelona man. Never gave his goalkeeper a hope. Real Madrid won, Osasuna nil, and now what was already a mountain begins to look an impossible mountain for Osasuna to climb here. Well, but nice piece of play by Sola. They've got to try and get back into the game immediately, obviously. Ibanez, their playmaker in midfield. And Osasuna really rocked by that early error. That's the 37th goal that Real have scored at the Bernabeu this season. Eight matches and, what, five minutes. Now he can take a useful long throw, Ibanez. And does so, that's dangerous. Headed away by Schuster and then on by Michel. And back it comes to Ibanez. And here's Martin Dominguez, who will be very keen to make up for his error, but he hasn't done so. That's another bad ball. Gordillo breaks clear. And there's danger again here. And really, the interception by Castaneda saved Martin Dominguez from another embarrassment, because it was his error that led to that Real breakaway.
Good header by Ruggieri. And a lot depending on Ibanez to get his team moving now and force their way back here. The clearance by Yero. And so many players wanting the ball, Schuster in particular, in this Real side. Tremendous self-confidence they've got. And why not when you're as good as Martin Vasquez, for instance, although that wasn't the best ball he's ever played. De Luis at number two for Osasuna. Seven is Urban, the Polish international. Dispossessed, but Trigueño, the opposite number for Real, and he was fouled. But Trigueño not in the, the form of recent seasons this season. But so many great players in this Real team. Chendo is the captain. Hierro switches play. Sanchez. Hugo Sanchez. Trigueño, a lovely little flick for Schuster. And Schuster's still there. Good goalkeeping. And in fact, the whistle had already gone. I think there might have been a, an illegal use of the hand then by Schuster. But it was a silky move by Real. Martin Dominguez giving it away again. Still shaken, I would think, by that own goal. Chendo had a lot of chasing to do, and Pepin denied him the space for the cross. That's a corner, and it's the third already for Real, with only eight minutes gone. And they lead a goal to nil. Hugo Sanchez wanting it right on the goal line. And it's another corner. Siganda giving it away this time. Interesting to keep a check on the corners. That's four already for Real. Martin Vasquez takes this one short, in fact, to Gordillo. And then into Schuster. Oh, that's beautiful football. It didn't quite come off, but appreciative applause from the crowd. Siganda the target, and he's going to have a lone battle up front today for Osasuna. Hierro, Schuster, Chendo. Hierro again. Alongside him is Ruggieri. Sanchez. Martin Vasquez, the number 10. It's a good return ball as well for Sanchez. Gordillo tearing down the left. He's gone alone, though. And wins the throw from Pepin's challenge. Martin Vasquez, lovely little ball, and it comes back to him. And that's good play by Sola. Spotted the danger and moved in with the interception. Siganda looks a useful player this boy certainly confident on the ball Sola Martin Dominguez Siganda wanting it played more quickly and not a particularly good cross Chendo that looked like a foul I think the referee was about to play advantage but none uh, accrued so he blew for the free kick Senor Garasa. Schuster. Michel. Sola now for Asasuna. Got Siganda up with him and also the number seven Urban, the pole, but uh, they are have it back again. Free kick, in fact, has been given. 
10 minutes gone. Real Madrid 1, Osasuna 0. And a delay. I think that's Siganda down injured. Just going back to Real's incredible home record this season. They got seven goals here against Zaragoza, six against Valencia. They've also scored five in a match, and on no fewer than four occasions, they've got four goals. In fact, the worst uh, result, if you can call it that, that they've had here was a 2-0 victory over Sporting Gijon right at the start of the season. Unbeaten in eight home games. And on their way, I should think here, even at this very early stage, to a ninth, because... Uh, it's very difficult, even though we've only had 10 minutes, to see Osasuna getting their way back into this game. It could be a question of how much Real turn it on to try and improve that uh, unbelievable goal difference they have at home. Here's Butragueno. Michel with him. Sanchez. And they're well used to facing this uh, 10, sometimes 11-man defensive wall rail. It happens most of the time when they're at home. Teams don't really come here to attack, and it makes you wonder what uh, profit there might be for a visiting side who are a little bit more adventurous. Osasuna set their stall out right from the start with their defensive formation and paid the penalty, conceding a goal after only four minutes. the parallel in uh, English football would be visits to uh, Liverpool at Anfield where people say if you attack Liverpool you could lose even more heavily than if you tried to defend against them so uh, it's a dilemma certainly for visiting teams and here they go again with Iero well, is poor and he knows it Luis forward to Sora. And also soon they can't get going really over the halfway line. And there's the man whose unfortunate own goal separates the sides. This is Ibanez. Martin Dominguez credited with the goal. Dispossessed there by Sanchez and now Putrugueño. Sanchez again. Castaneda. Number five is uh, Martin Gonzalez, and he finds Ibanez. Now Sola. Good looking ball from Sola. Urban on the right. And the clearance by Iero was a necessary one with Saganda right behind him. Ball throw. Schuster for Real. Hugo Sanchez certainly took the pace off the ball but couldn't control it. Now danger perhaps with Siganda. Oh yes. Well, he had no other option really. There was only one other Osasuna player in a forward position. And that was Urban. Now Godillo. Schuster. Nearly paid off, but well read. Ibanez. Sola. Certainly seeing plenty of the ball, the number 11. And so too is Ibanez. And that's a free kick. The foul by Sanchez. So that now 32 and won two championship medals in his time at Athletic Bilbao. This is his fourth season with Osasuna, and he indicates what he intends to do with the free kick. And it wasn't a bad one. Real's marking was a bit sloppy. Two Osasuna players free.
But here's Schuster now for Rao. 15 minutes gone, they lead 1-0. Gordillo down the left, dispossessed by Castaneda. De Luis forward. See Gandas lay off, and one back again. And that's a fine ball, but Gordillo was just offside. De Luis with the kick. That's a good layoff as well. And that wasn't really by Sola. But Sola gets it back again. Looking for Siganda. Uh, did that come off the defender? I don't think it did. Well, yes, well, the referee obviously thought it did. A corner has been given. Siganda to take it. Oh, sorry, Sola to take it. Siganda is on the near post. twice and rather fortunate to get it back now with Butragueño Hugo Sanchez Martin Vasquez outside him uh, pulled back too deep for Michel offside surely unusual to see Gordillo appearing on the right and he certainly got himself into an offside position To the relief of Roberto. Well, actually, when you see that, well, it was probably level, and if you're level, you're offside. That's the law. Still 1 0 then. 18 minutes gone. Hugo Sanchez. Good play by Chendo. It's Real's throw in. Martin Dominguez made the tackle. Michel. Dispossessed though by Ibanez. Now Sola, who had a terrible layoff, and they were lucky to get away with that one, really. Sola gets it back again. And then Ibanez, and Sola, not really making any progress, but playing some neat football here, Osasuna. Sola's there again, and that's a useful-looking ball as well, and just wide by Urban. That was unlucky. It was a delightful build-up by Osasuna, and Buyo in the Real goal has not really been called into action yet might well have found himself picking the ball out of the net Jan Urban knocking the ball wide he's only just uh, arrived at Osasuna from the Polish champions Gornik Zabra experienced player with over 50 international caps for Poland behind him and might have done better then I feel but certainly the build up was excellent and for a moment then we saw just why Osasuna have climbed so high in the table. Fifth, remember, at the start of play. Fifth, indeed, is the best position they've ever occupied in the Spanish First Division in 1987-88. In recent seasons, anyway, they were tenth last season. Here's Schuster for Real, leading by a goal to nil. 20 minutes gone. A blatant trip. Luis offering his apologies to Butragueño, but uh, I think the referee will speak to him. Schuster. Cut out well by Pepin. Schuster. 
It's not Sasuna's throw. And now it's their free kick. Sassuna, rather like Barcelona this season, have uh, certainly reserved their best form for their home matches where they've won seven and lost only one. And also like Barcelona, away from home, they've been very disappointing. Although they have drawn their last three successive away games and indeed came into this match with a six-game unbeaten run behind them. Martin Dominguez. Pepan. Bad ball. Martin Vasquez forward. That wasn't very good either. Well cut out by De Luis. Siganda was offside. Ball down the line for Gordillo to chase, and he's done so successfully. Good play here by Gordillo, but Trigueño, sloppy return ball by him. And in the end, it's Martin Gonzalez who comes out with the ball for Osasuna. But whenever they play forward, there's inevitable pressure because Osasuna just don't have enough men inside the rail half. Ibanez, Siganda, Ibanez again. Players arriving in support. Siganda is one of them. Urban is another. And the uh, overhead effort by Martin Dominguez was a little bit ambitious. So Real build again with the West German Schuster. Michel with Trigueño, the target. Still Butragueño, Hugo Sanchez is with him now, and he lays it off, and Michel is completely unmarked, and that's number two. Osasuna hesitated, expecting an offside flag. It never came. 23 minutes gone, Real Madrid two, Osasuna nil, and Michel was certainly onside. Got away from his marker superbly, rounded the goalkeeper with ease, and slotted it home for a very polished goal. Michel's sixth goal of the season. And Butragueño laid it on superbly for him. They probably couldn't believe that Michel was in so much empty space. Marcesuna struggling now, and that's uh, a free kick against them. two-goal lead for the reigning Spanish champions and indeed they have been top dogs in Spain for four successive seasons now and while a yellow card for Sola for something I assume he said to referee Garasa something obviously not very complimentary about Real's second goal I would think The goal stands, it's Real Madrid 2, Osasuna 0. Schuster. Glorious ball for Michel. Wasted really the cross. What a ball that was by Schuster. Castaneda. Given away. Gordillo. Good interception though by De Luis. Sanchez, Cordia, look at the number of men, the Rayo had three on the left, but offside the decision. Schuster, who spread play beautifully a moment or two ago with that ball to Michel.
appear the crowd have kept the ball up. So they have a new one. Which is usually the signal for the offending spectator to throw it straight back on. But not this time. Pepin with the free kick. Headed clear by Ruggieri. Martin Vasquez couldn't control it. Michel. Chendo let it run. And Sola has possession again for Osasuna. That's a free kick. Sanchez shown the yellow card. This is his first bad tackle. It was a bad one, no doubt about that. But uh, you could argue that he deserved at least a warning from the referee for the first one. But my might, that was a bit naughty. And Solder, who had booked himself a moment ago. Now uh, the victim of the challenge, which has earned Sanchez the yellow card. They've certainly got enough options for taking the free kick here. Four Osasuna men gathered around the ball. You know that uh, Ibanez is one who can crack a shot in from a distance. Pepin is the man who looks most likely to take it, though. And does. And certainly a bit of power behind the shot, but Buyo untroubled. Dia on the left for Real. They lead 2-0. 27 minutes gone. Four is Iero. Five Sanchez. Martin Vasquez. And again, Osasuna pull everyone back behind the ball. Ruggieri giving it away. Ooh. Well, that was a calculated risk by De Luis. Here's Siganda, and he's got a man forward as well, Martin Dominguez, but what a superb challenge by Hierro. But then he's uh, very clumsy with his pass and gives it straight to Pepin, and Martin Dominguez still unmarked on the left. And that's a corner. Hierro getting back to recover his own mistake. can also soon gain some consolation coming up to half an hour gone with this corner for their first half display Solo will take it and it comes straight back to him Michel with the clearance to the delight of the crowd what a great head of that was by Hugo Sanchez and rather over hit really that was disappointing finish Hugo Sanchez is still there to keep it in play, though. And then he was... Well, I thought he was uh, fouled, and he obviously thought he was fouled as well. But more significantly, the referee didn't. And the crowd not happy with that decision. Urban. De Luis. Siganda. And Butragueño wins it back. Martin Vasquez. Hierro, a little bit lucky with that one. Sanchez. Cordillo. Oh, 
And suddenly Real looked dangerous again with Michel in the space once more. And he wins the corner of Castaneda. Michel really finding gaps in this Osasuna defence. And the man who is such a great player when he's on song, Michel. Scorer of Real's second goal will take the corner himself. Hugo Sanchez again calling for it on the goal line and it came over and was headed goal with Marugiri but Osasuna deal with it well an interesting break on here for themselves Urban Sigander in the middle and Chendo covered superbly good play that by Chendo and the pole unable to make any progress but he has earned his side a corner Solo will take it. Good clearance by Yero. Solo gets it back. Urban's header, but offside had already been given by the referee. Sanchez coming deep to receive it from Schuster. A good ball. Martin Vasquez. And that's another corner. That's about the eighth if I make it now. We've had 33 minutes. Real lead by two goals to nil. Michel with the corner. And they just can't get out of their own half at the moment. Osasuna. Here's Michel again. Linking with Schuster. Oh dear. There with Gordillo. Well, a sloppy play by Gordillo as well. But Sanchez was across to cover. Forward to Martin Dominguez. Well, that was not the ball that was called for. Goal kick. Sanchez. Ruggieri and Iero. It's a good ball forward as well. Hugo Sanchez onto it. Good challenge by De Luis. And there seem to be so many Real players on this pitch. And there's a good little ball forward too. And there's danger here. Michel. He's got Hugo Sanchez in the middle. Yes! It's three. And the famous victory roll. But Michel is the architect of that goal. Hugo Sanchez gets his 19th goal of the season. Michel so smart and alert. And of course, the finish as impeccable as you've come to expect. And he got a crack from the goalkeeper on his way to celebrate. Lovely little pullback by Michel. And Hugo Sanchez does not miss them. 19 goals. 11 now in his last seven games. He scored a hat-trick in his last match at Lagrones. And as Real wore up a couple of substitutes, they must know already with still 10 minutes and a half time that they've got an unbeatable lead. Real Madrid 3, Osasuna 0. And the incredible little Hugo Sanchez has done it again, and here they go again with Michel. It's another good ball, and Hugo Sanchez nearly on the end of that. Well, 
they're well on their way to maintaining their four goal a game average in fact it's a little higher than that at the Bernabeu rail that's now 39 goals in uh, well I suppose you could say eight and a half matches unbelievable record and here goes Butragueño and here goes Hugo Sanchez Butragueño again turning on all the tricks now Chendo Schuster and Sassuna have no reply to this the crowd will love it Hierro and he's still going forward Hierro and they feel they should have a penalty but the referee disagrees and he made the most of it but how the way our crowd loved the build up to that now let's watch this again the challenge by Popan well it certainly wasn't inside the penalty area that's for sure but it should have been a free kick I think Schuster forward offside Butragueño Incidentally in scoring all those goals here at the Bernabeu Real have also maintained a very good defensive record they've conceded only seven goals in those eight matches before today and four of the eight visitors before Osasuna failed to score offside given against Martin Dominguez whose own goal started the rot here Dio. Risky little ball by Butragueño, but he got away with it. Hierro. Michel. Good layoff from Hugo Sanchez, but uh, good defending. Also sooner look a decent football side, but they just can't get the ball. Oh yes, good play. Schuster. Hugo Sanchez again. And the desperate challenge by number two, De Luis. But they do play some delightful football, Real. Choose to combining with Hugo Sanchez, and the tackle was important. Ibanez. De Luis again. Marino, seen very little of him in midfield. This is Sola. Good ball for Martin Dominguez. At the finish, disappointing. Sanchez for Real. Five minutes to half time, and Real lead by three goals to nil. Sanchez again. The interception was by Castaneda. Pepan. Real throw. little touch there but uh, Schuster wasn't uh, really aware of what was happening for once all by De Luis and there was handball as soon as free kick Marino oh yes good interception by Sanchez he read that one well Gordillo as ever, storming down the left, but uh, 
He was never given much hope with that ball and got a crack on the unprotected shins from Pepin. Come back well the other end by Ruggieri. Schuster now. Hugo Sanchez. When you consider that Osasuna are in fifth place in the uh, first division, it just goes to prove what a gulf exists between Real Madrid and the rest. Here's Michel, Hugo Sanchez, Putragueño. Sanchez, and now Godillo. Five men involved in this move. Not a good cross, though. Three minutes to half time. Real Madrid three, Osasuna nil. Gordillo in possession for Real. Couldn't find the room for the cross, perhaps Sanchez can. But Osasuna break. And the confirmation of the score as Sigander is dispossessed by Piero. And there's been no great threat to Real at the back. And that's a lovely ball as well. Martin Vasquez. Well, we have two players. But Trigueño there, the number seven, was one of them. And Hugo Sanchez, inevitably. Better placed than himself, perhaps. And could easily have been a fourth killer goal just before half-time. Not that anyone really would honestly give Osasuna any hope of getting back into this game anyway. Foul by Schuster on Sola. Ibanez. An inception by Chendo, an offside had been given anyway. Seemed a bit unnecessary. Real will comfortably in possession of the ball. Schuster. Hugo Sanchez stretching for it and couldn't get it. Here's Siganda and straight at Schuster. Sanchez. Schuster. Hierro. Ruggieri. Good football. Hierro. And the poor cross in the final minute of the first half by Hierro. The referees just checked with both his linesmen. And the mighty relief of the half-time interval not far away now for Osasuna. Sanchez. He gets it back. Petrogreño. The run by Chendo. Michel in possession. And Hugo Sanchez, well, it was a nice attempt by Hugo Sanchez. I suppose you can afford those little thrills on your game when you're 3-0 up. Seemed rather an unnecessary challenge then on Iero. Well, the referee hasn't given a free kick. Ibanez. Martin Dominguez. Good cross that. And Siganda was close to it. Corner. Looks a good player, young Siganda. He's uh, top scorer of the season with six goals. He was top scorer for Osasuna last season as well, although he only got seven. Here he is, the number nine on the near post. And a wild shot by Martin Dominguez. 
are well into time being added for stoppages now. In the first half. And the big question in the second half has to be how many more goals Real can score. Because I'm quite certain we haven't seen the end of the scoring yet in this game. Real will want to turn it on and improve their already formidable goal difference. And there's the half-time whistle. And what a satisfactory first half for the home team. An own goal, a goal by Michel, and then one by Hugo Sanchez to the Bernabeu Stadium with Real Madrid about to kick off in the second half leading by three goals to nil and really what a very comfortable cushion they have for this second 45 minutes and I think we saw one or two touches after Real had scored the third goal that suggested that they're going to show us some of their finest exhibition football if you like here because I think even also sooner themselves realise but there is no way they're going to get back into this game. That's offside. Chendo making a rare break into the opposition half. And a fruitless one, and he's got to chase back now as well. Tregueño. He's been a bit disappointing. And in fact, the man who earned himself the nickname of the Vulture, who had an incredible scoring record for several seasons, both for uh, Real Madrid and the Spanish national team, in which he scored a goal every other game, on average, has had a disappointing couple of seasons now. Maybe one or two challenges like that are the reason why. And for that tackle, Adé Luis gets the yellow card. In fact, the referee took the red card out at first. But it's not the Butragueño role. Real's free kick then. Schuster will take it. His second season here after his eight years and some controversial and troubled years they were at Barcelona. Straight off the shin of Hugo Sanchez. Oh, yes. Lovely football from Schuster. Michel with him. But Tegueno. And back in towards Schuster, but headed away by Pepin. And they all pick up where they left off. Michel. Um. He's carried it over the line, it's a throw. Real already in the shape to suggest that they will be major contenders for what would be a fifth successive Spanish League title. Unbeaten at home in their eight games before today. I can't see that statistic changing any, except to say, played 9-1-9. And away, they've only lost twice at Barcelona and Real Sociedad. Here's Michel. The Tregueño on the overlap. And just kept in, was it? Yes, by Pepin. Well, Sassuna came here to defend. Conceded the dreaded early goal and an own goal at that. And have since had to defend. They've been on the rack. Sanchez. Good ball. Odio, oh, offside. Castaneda, Ibanez, and again, beaten by Schuster who can tackle as well as pass the ball accurately. Hugo Sanchez, Michel on the right. Oh, dear. I think in fairness to him, the pitch is quite badly pockmarked, and you can see at that end. And uh, I think it just had a little divot as he was about to shoot and reared up the wrong way for him. 
Because that was not like Michel at all. Let's see if we can see it here. Yes, it did. Kendo wins it well. Martin Dominguez. Sola. Marino. And he comes back to Marino. And he wins the corner, the first of the half for Osasuna. Disappointing game, really, Marino. Young local player, one of many... Uh, young locals that Osasuna possess. Hasn't really made any impact on this game. Sola has, and he's not very popular with the crowd. He was booked in the first half. And it's his corner. Dangerously to the near post. Headed away by uh, Sanchez, I think it was. Back again to Sola. <clears throat> and the two number 11s, Tussle and Schuster, comes away with the ball for Real. Michel, good play. Oh dear. Hugo Sanchez took his eye off it fatally. Not they swept from being on the defence at one end of the field to being in a good attacking position at the other then. Schuster again. That looked like a foul to me and belatedly given by the referee. Quickly taken by Martin Vasquez and that's another foul surely on Lithuania. Well, Schuster and Michel are both pretty useful from free kicks. They take this one short. the head of Ruggeri straight to uh, Siganda and Ruggeri gets it back for Real Schuster Hugo Sanchez touch hasn't quite been there with some of his layoffs today Hugo Sanchez and that's a foul on Urban And here he is again. And he's not going to trouble Buyo with shots like that. Spain's number two goalkeeper, Tazubi Zareta, has hardly had a thing to do today. 3-0 the scoreline. Eight minutes gone in the second half. Schuster. Cordillo. Well played, but Pepin got it clear. And Schuster's there again, and that is magnificent stuff from Schuster. Oh, the crowd love that. Brilliant. Here's Gordillo. Well, all the great players, well, most of them anyway, have been arrogant, and Schuster certainly has that touch of arrogance that crowds love to see when it comes off. Sanchez. Cordillo flattened free kick. Oh, it's a long range effort from uh, Yero that was very ambitious. And he gets it back again. And another long range effort. And uh, I'm quite sure whether he was trying to pick out Gordillo on the far post or have a shot then. But it's a goal kick.
pushing the back. Cordillo was the culprit. And Marino goes down with a delayed reaction. I think it was probably as he fell to the ground from the push that uh, he uh, sustained that injury then. consultation between a group of Osasuna players as Marino gets groggily to his leg legs rather still got them both and Martin Gonzalez couldn't keep it in good deal with the throw Sanchez and now Schuster there was a buzz of expectation when he gets the ball Trigueño, Michel, Hugo Sanchez, Martin Vasquez, good play, but the final ball wasn't quite good enough. Sola, in trouble here, Schuster, and still Schuster. Oh, it was the pitch that stopped him then, and then he fouled. And there's no question that the ball got left behind in the mud. And this pitch doesn't help Real's lovely flowing football at all. I'm surprised they haven't done something about it. Well, that's easier said than done, of course. And there's been an awful lot of rain in Spain this uh, football season. Martin Gonzalez for Osasuna. They trail 3-0. We've had 12 minutes of play in the second half. Sola. Good-looking ball and well read by Chendo. to Sola and the cross a bit too deep I think and the effort by was it Papan was extremely optimistic and Buyo will uh, happily stand back and watch those go wide all day There's a substitution about to be made. So I thought we had a decent game actually. Goes off, he may have a slight injury. That's to Gui. That's to Gui takes his place. 21-year-old striker. So maybe Osasuna rather belatedly have opted for a more positive approach by replacing uh, one forward of 32 years vintage with a younger one. Here's Siganda. And the substitute gets an early uh, chance to show his form, but that's going to be, I think, a throw-in or maybe even a free kick to Real. Who oh, no, the referee has overruled the linesman who gave it the other way. So it's Osasuna's ball. Martin Dominguez with the kick then. Quite a dangerous position this. But a poor kick. Schuster got it away. Cordillo chasing. And wins the throw. Hugo Sanchez nicked a few yards there. Castaneda. Gives another throw to Real Madrid. Uh, I think there's another substitution, yes. And Victor Guenio is going off. Well, 
Lana, the player coming on. Yet another of the crop of internationals here at uh, Real Madrid. So an international replacement for an international forward. Solana on after 60 minutes just about for Butrugueño. Martin Vasquez. Hugo Sanchez. Michel. Well, that's a good ball down the line. Danger here. Chendo pulls back the cross. And that's a corner. Good play by Real. That's the aid of the man who got it clear. And Chendo's there again, just tees it up for Michel. And Hierro! That's for... Hierro gets his second goal of the season. And Osasuna are dead. Chendo just teed it up for Michel. An accurate cross. Hierro flung himself into the uh, goal mouth. And the defenders were all stood arguing when one of them, at least, should have been marking. Good play, though, by Hierro. He was brave and positive, and it paid off in fine style. And just as they make a substitution, Real go four in front. And that maintains that incredible average. If you happen to have only just uh, tuned in, I was saying before that Real's scoring record this season is quite incredible that is now 40 goals they've scored in what is their ninth home match and uh, after a seven and a six and a five that's now the fifth time they've scored four goals and they're going looking for a fifth again here with Hugo Sanchez but he can't reach it Marino did and that record of goal scoring for this stage of the season surpasses even the great Real Madrid team of the late 50s and early 60s the Hento and the Puskas and the Di Stefano that's a measure of the achievement that Real have now notched up here incredible really and John Toshak the Welsh international former Liverpool player who came here as coach in the season in the close season after doing such a fine job in Basque Country at Real Sociedad. He may have failed to deliver what they really want in terms of the European Cup, but my word as he produced a good attacking, entertaining team in the league. Clear foul on Hugo Sanchez. And really, Osasuna have no answer to Real's talent. Schuster with the kick. Oh, good one. Roberto got it away well. Martin Dominguez. Urban. And Real are hungry for more. You can tell that. Schuster. Martin Vasquez. Well, they've certainly got plenty of time to further improve their scoring here, Real. Well, Sasuna do not have enough time to get back into this game. Not enough ability, I fear. They gamble by going on the defensive, and the gamble has failed. And another substitution. Well, we've obviously seen the uh, number board. They're not too happy with the player who's coming off. In fact, it's Hugo Sanchez. And he dashes off, so he obviously wasn't injured. Paco Lorente takes his place, but I would think on John Tarchak's part with a comfortable four-goal lead, that's sensible enough. Save Hugo Sanchez. 
save his legs, save him from possible injury and give a run out to Paco Lorenti. And I was mentioning the great uh, team of the 50s and 60s, Paco Lorenti is nephew of Hento, the marvellous winger of that Real side of legendary fame. Here's Goodio. Good little ball that was. And this is Paco Lorenti. Oh, didn't quite sit up in the mud again. It's a real problem, that area of the field. Now then, Marino for Osasuna. They've got four forward here. The most they've ever had in an attack in this game. And would you believe it, one of them straight offside. 25 minutes to go. Real Madrid 4, Osasuna 0. Sanchez. Michel on the right. Martin Vasquez. De Luis, the covering player. Look at this. Lovely football. Offside. What a shame. Marino. So much experience around this rail side. Obviously one of the criticisms when John Toshak came here was that uh, it was a, an ageing side that he was inheriting and sure enough he has moved a couple of players on Callego, one of the older ones who went great uh, defender over the years and midfield player as well and I must say if you're good enough when you're young enough whether you be 21 or 31 and at the moment I would have thought the balance is just about right here, as far as the Spanish league is concerned anyway. Whether Real have enough talent to take on the great teams of Europe is another matter. But just look at the football they're playing here. Lovely stuff. And again, that same area of the pitch denies them another opening. Well, I would have thought if there was one signing they ought to make, it's a couple more groundsmen to help out the chap who's already doing the job because that area of the pitch is uh, about the biggest opponent that, Osasu uh, that uh, Real seem to face here. Then by Ruggeri, Siganda, number 14, Solana, one of the two substitutes, Sanchez. So much time at the back for the Israel defenders on the ball. A lovely little ball again by Martin Vasquez, but De Luis wins it back for Osasuna and now Marino. Alon Sanchez by Siganda. And another substitution to be made here. Castaneda coming off, I think, yes. And Rosarena will take his place. And that means uh, changing the captaincy. And it looks like Ibanez has got the captain's armband from Castaneda. Rosarena, uh, 
yet another of the local players, a defender really, who's been on half a dozen times as substitute this season, comes on in a not very enviable situation with his team 4-0 down, 20 minutes to go. He might have some defending to do as well. Chendo. And players getting in each other's way then. Paco Lorenti. Cleared by De Luis. Marino. And back it goes for Siganda to chase. Ruggeri's tackle, and indeed the ball came off the Osasuna man, it's Real's throw. And it's hard to believe, even though this is the closest championship there's been for some time in Spain, and there are several teams nominally in contention for the title, it's hard to believe that anybody will prevent Real from winning it for the 25th time. This is Solana, one of the substitutes brought down in full flight by Martin Gonzalez. We really deserve the yellow card for that. One or two of the earlier bookings were perhaps harsh. I would have given the yellow car there, I think, but the referee hasn't. Solana's OK. Schuster. Martin Vasquez trying to line up the shot. And it bobbled off the defender's heel. Schuster's been a big influence today for Real. And Michel has played well. Frankly, they all have. Martin Vasquez has had some lovely touches as well. Here's Michel, 4-0 the score. Chendo in support. And one back by Ibanez. Now captain for Osasuna. Martin Gonzalez. And that's beautiful play. Now the substitute, and now Schuster. And he's got Gordillo to his left. He didn't see him quickly enough. Schuster's back in command. Hierro dispossessed, though, by Urban, and then won it back with a foul tackle as it happens. Siganda. Hierro, scorer of the fourth Real goal. Strange piece of play. Osasuna get it back again, Martin uh, Dominguez. Shot by Pepham was well, well wide. Solana, Ruggeri, Gordillo, Martin Vasquez, sloppy ball by Martin Vasquez and intercepted by Martin Dominguez, three here, but what good defending that was, Yellow, Schuster, no, couldn't keep it in, or couldn't control it rather. Ibanez onside Urban and two in the middle here, but the defending again was watertight. The game, I suppose, inevitably going through a slightly sloppy period. Real quite content that they've done enough to get the points and Osasuna going through the motions of trying to get back into it. 
equally, I suspect, knowing that there's no hope. But as degree is fouled. So Osasuna have the possibility of uh, testing Buyo from the free kick. Martin Dominguez and the substitute Arozarena, number 12, over the ball. Martin Dominguez takes it and rather exaggerated fall, but exaggerated or not, it has produced a penalty as Siganda goes down. I must say it looked a theatrical dive to me. And the crowd and the Real players aren't happy at all. But their protest will be in vain. The referee pointed instantly to the spot. And that's a penalty. There was a nudge, no doubt about that. And Martin Dominguez, whose own goal started the rot, if you like, for Osasuna, or from their point of view, has the opportunity to pull one back from the penalty spot. And does so. 4-1. The crowd furious. You'd think that was an equalising goal or even the winner. The way they've greeted it. So Martin Dominguez, at least in some small measure, makes up for his early error. In the same goal, in fact. And with less than 15 minutes to go, Osasuna have done what half of the previous visitors to the Bernabeu this season didn't manage to do. They've scored. The Real Madrid four, Osasuna one, and a slight dent then. Very slight in Real's impressive home record. Sweetly tucked away penalty, even though Bio guessed right. And uh, Yero has come off to have the old uh, ice pack applied to his leg. So temporarily down to 10 men, Real. Don't think it'll trouble him too greatly. Well, Osasuna will take a little heart from that goal, but... Uh, and I fear from their point of view, it'll be no more than a consolation. Crowd now indulging in a bit of referee baiting as another free kick has gone against the home team. causing some concern 13 minutes to go incidentally <clears throat> two substitutes have been used so uh, may I'll be hoping that Hiero is okay It looks as though he is. And indeed, Hierro coming back onto the field. Real back to their full complement of 11 and boasting a three goal lead with their 4 1 margin. Ibanez for Osasuna. Ran into trouble, he felt he was fouled, but the referee hasn't given it this time. And the ball just wouldn't stay in play for Michel on that far side. And just to revise Real's home record, at this moment it is 40 goals for, 8 against in nine matches with what uh, 
10 minutes to go in this one. I shouldn't think any team in a top quality league anywhere in Europe or possibly even the world could boast a scoring record quite like that on their own home ground. No doubt if I'm wrong, someone will write in and inform us. Here's Schuster. And a uh, crack on the leg for Marino, who's been in the wars a couple of times. Not so soon are two of you, two substitutes. Free kick has gone their way. The game degenerating a little bit as far as Real are concerned. They seem to have uh, just lost a little bit of interest since they went forward in front. Interesting now if Osasuna could pull one back. Martin Dominguez in there again. Offside. Buyo certainly in a hurry to get on with it. Chendo. Martin Vasquez. It's a good ball, or is it? No, no, it's a bit too deep. He spotted Gordillo making the run. Marino. Back it goes to number eight. Although picked up first by Siganda. The man who went down for the penalty. And there again. Do like the look of him. And here he goes between the defenders, but Schuster, that was superb. He's been everywhere. But Siganda looks like a kind of player who'd be uh, very dangerous in a better team. He's only about 22. line and definitely a little bit of sloppiness has crept into Real's play here Siganda I'm not quite sure what he was trying there languid period of play for Real who were just strolling through it and seem to have lost interest even in scoring now Solana Gordillo Schuster Sanchez on the right, Chendo. Michel. And that's a corner, I think. As Michel goes thudding into the advertising hoarding from the tackle by Ibarez. Even as concerned. Probably more concerned that he might get shown the yellow card. It was an accident, really, um, obviously. And Michel, who received treatment off the field, really, I know. He's, he's, he's off the field, certainly, at the moment. But no, he's just gone to retrieve the ball. He's fit enough to take the corner. Surprise, surprise. A good one it was, too. Gordillo, still. Brilliant, Oh, what a fine save. 
fact, I think it might have been offside anyway. But that was a good save by Roberto down to his own left. The referee's allowed play to go on, so probably it would have counted. Good Dio twisting and turning magnificently here. And I think Micho just got in ahead of uh, his teammate to get the header in. Good save. Still 4-1. Foul by Gordillo on Marino. Five minutes to go. De Luis. Marino. Dispossessed by Gordillo. Paco Lorente. Zolana. Schuster. Good ball. Paco Lorente really going at the uh, defender. Carlos Arena. Good to see. it is, Martin Vasquez will take it Hierro's come forward again scorer of the fourth goal ooh, Roberto now, that one can well it wouldn't have done anyway I don't think Hierro who scored from a much more difficult uh, effort earlier, scooping the ball over the bar I think the referee might have disallowed it anyway although it's hard to see why, I couldn't see any Pushing going on, and there was a defender on the goal line as well, so it certainly wasn't offside. No, that goes down as a bad miss. Incredible miss, really, for a player who'd scored from a, a much more difficult centre. And suddenly it breaks again for Paco Lorenti, and he didn't really get it down quick enough. But it's another corner. A late flurry then by Real. Three minutes to go. They lead 4-1. Martin Vasquez with the kick again. I'm sure they'll keep an eye on the arrow this time. Roberto got it clear. Once more under pressure from the arrow. in Vasquez not at all what was needed so we're very close now to a result that will confirm Real's position as leaders of the Spanish League they are the reigning champions They've won the title in four successive seasons. They've scored more goals at this point of the season than any other team in Real Madrid's history. And it all adds up to a pretty formidable package. Who, if anyone, can stop Real going on to the title again this season? Barcelona, Atletico Madrid, perhaps the likes of Valencia will all feel that they have a hope but it's going to take a formidable team to stop Real retaining their title. Certainly, any team that has pretensions to do so will have to score an awful lot of goals. And Osasuna didn't really have any hope of scoring one with that feeble effort by Orozarena. We're into the final minute then. Real on their way to another impressive victory at the Bernabeu. Oh dear, what a mistake that was. Three players forward, Siganda is one of them, and they can't even profit when Real give the ball away. Incredible mistake by Chendo. would have spoiled things a little bit right at the end and not many of the supporters have left 
even though the game is well won now, and in truth has been for some time. An own goal by Martin Dominguez as early as the fourth minute. Michel made it 2-0 after 23. Hugo Sanchez got his 19th goal of the season, and that's double the total of any other player in the Spanish league at the moment. That was 10 minutes before half-time. Hierro's goal after 60 minutes, making it four. And then a Martin Dominguez penalty, giving Osasuna some consolation. And they go looking for some more here with Urban. And that's a good effort. Just got a fingertip to it, Guyo. So a corner in time being added for stoppages. And yes, he did well there, the keeper. De Luis. And <laughs> nonchalantly taken one-handed by Buyo. There's the final whistle. Real Madrid have played nine matches at the Bernabeu this season and won them all. They've scored 40 goals and conceded only eight. And it is they who will kick off. Number six is Armando. And we're about to get underway. 21 points from 16 games, Atletico Madrid. Logroño has 16 points from 16 games. And we're underway. So Atletico in their all blue chain strip, praying from left to right, Logroñez in the stripes. This is Cristobal, beaten on the far side by Alfredo, and an incident off the ball on this near touchline. Pedro from Logroñez is the man involved, and uh, referee Freira, I think, is going to book Pedro. The play, in fact, was on the far side, and indeed it is Pedro who has cautioned the number 11 for Logroñez. So quite a start to this game, as the yellow card is shown to Pedro. No one quite saw what was happening because the play was right at the other end of the field, but uh, the linesman drew the referee's attention to the offence, and so we'll restart with Footrey taking the free kick for Atletico.